Hi, today in this video, we're gonna talk about the MATLAB environment and just getting familiar with that initial environment when we open up the application. So your screen might look something like mine if you've now already opened the MATLAB application. If it doesn't, maybe you've already started playing around with things or somehow you accidentally have a window undocked or you have things overlapping and you're not liking the environment that you're seeing. If that happens, you can always go to layout default. I do recommend exploring different layouts, try moving windows around, find the way that you want to interact with this environment. But I will talk today from the default version, that way we can all be on the same page. So first let's talk about this command window. So the command window is a place where I can start doing some initial calculations. Later, I'll talk about how to use the command window to help you with testing and debugging your code. But for now, let's just see what happens if I do some type of simple calculation, just like a calculator. So we see that this does work. This should be working in your window as well. And if not, you may not be seeing this prompt symbol here. If you're not seeing that, you might have some code running in the background or something may have happened. Um, first, you can try control C. Even if you're on a Mac, it's still control C. If that does not help, I recommend closing the application and reopening it. The next one do I wanna talk about is the one where you may have seen something change when I first did that five times 10. So I'm going to do something else like that again. And Hopefully you saw something change over here. So this is our workspace. Our workspace we'll be using a lot and we'll talk about a lot more in depth once we get into creating script files and assigning variables. And then especially when we get into different data types and then later on with arrays. So for now, I just want you to be familiar with this is the workspace. And when we have variables, which we'll talk about in the next video, and they will show up over here in this workspace. So I'm just going to introduce two basic functions just to get started. One is clear. So if I type the word clear, you'll see now my workspace has cleared out. So that will clear out any variables. Again, we'll talk about variables more in a future video, but that will clean the workspace is one way you can think about it. CLC will clear the command window. So if you've typed a bunch of things in the command window and you want to refresh it, you can do CLC, it'll clear out all the information that is in that command window. So again, that is CLC and clear. So those are the two functions I wanna to introduce today. And so hopefully you understand this is the command window. Right now I am typing some initial type of coding in this command window, but when you actually are writing code, you want to be doing this in a script file. That's what the next video is gonna be all about. And just one more window I would like to introduce is the current folder window. So the current folder window, you see right now mine is blank. That's because we haven't created any script files yet. We haven't gotten into the coding portion yet. But eventually once we start creating script files, we'll see them all here in this current folder. You can always change that by clicking this little icon to open up which folder that you're looking at. And I have mine already set into a sample code folder, which is a folder I want to be in, so I will not be changing it. Thank you.